Have you ever wondered if we had another Earth? Imagine a planet like Earth, with the same blue oceans, lush forests, and towering mountains. A planet with life, sufficient water and air, and a habitable environment. Some might say it would be a chance to start over, to create a better world for ourselves and future generations. Others might fear that it would lead to conflict and competition, as nations and individuals vie for control of this new world. You know what it exits. Recently confirmed super-Earth, discovered by Australian scientists. The planet, named TOI 1452b, is about 70% larger than Earth and roughly five times as massive. It orbits a red dwarf star about 100 light-years away from Earth. TOI 1452b is located in the habitable zone of its star, meaning that liquid water could potentially exist on its surface. However, more research is needed to determine whether the planet actually has an atmosphere and oceans. If DOI 1452b does have liquid water, it would be one of the most promising candidates for life beyond Earth that we have yet discovered. The planet's large size and mass would also make it a good candidate for future exploration. The discovery of TOI 1452b is an exciting development in the search for life beyond Earth. It shows that there are many potential habitable planets out there waiting to be discovered. But how scientists discovered it? TOI 1452b was discovered using the transit method. This method involves looking for planets that pass in front of their host stars causing a slight dimming in the star's light. The scientists used data from NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS, to identify a potential planet candidate. TESS monitors the brightness of millions of stars for signs of transiting planets. The transit method is a very effective way to find exoplanets, and it has been used to discover thousands of planets to date. However, it is important to note that the transit method can only detect planets that are orbiting their host star's edge on. How is it similar to our Mother Earth? It is a rocky planet with a mass and radius that are both slightly larger than Earth's. It is located in the habitable zone of its star, meaning that liquid water could potentially exist on its surface. It has a relatively short orbital period, meaning that it orbits its star in just 11 days. Do you really think we need another Earth? Well, I have figured a number of reasons why we might need another Earth. Population growth. The global population is expected to reach 9.7 billion by 2050. This will put a strain on Earth's resources and environment. Having another Earth to colonize could help to alleviate this problem. Climate change. Climate change is already having a significant impact on Earth, and it is expected to get worse in the future. Having another Earth to live on would give us a backup plan if Earth becomes uninhabitable. Natural disasters. Earth is prone to a variety of natural disasters, such as earthquakes, hurricanes, and volcanic eruptions. Well, this sounds funny, but still I have considered this point. Resource depletion. Earth's resources are finite, and we are consuming them at an unsustainable rate. Having another Earth to exploit would give us access to more resources. Curiosity and exploration. Humans are naturally curious and exploratory creatures. We have always been driven to explore new places, and having another Earth to explore would be the ultimate challenge. Of course, there are also some potential downsides to having another Earth. For example, it could lead to increased conflict and competition between nations. It could also lead to environmental destruction on the new Earth, as we repeat the same mistakes that we have made on Earth. Thank you for watching. Like and share this video if you enjoyed it, and leave a comment below with your thoughts. And if you're not already subscribed to our channel, please do so today, so you don't miss any of our future updates on Chandrayaan 3 and other exciting space missions. Subscribe now.